pretty healthy people, you know. We work out, we eat right, you do all the right things, you know, and something like that's not in the family at all. So that was the last thing from my mind. We thought that I didn't have cancer. We, we thought it was one of these other things that I was being tested for. My doctor had said to me when, she, when I was diagnosed with cancer, it's either going to be you're going to have to go into your retirement son, fund or you're going to die. Those are your choices. We knew that Gail wasn't going to be insured at all. Yeah. It was like everybody's at this party and you're not invited to this party. You know, you were on the outside. Uh, we work just as hard as anyone else does, and, um, but we don't get the insurance. It just didn't seem fair anyway. So. When that was signed, I mean, that just changed my life completely because then I knew I could get the treatments and I would be okay. I have an appointment, I go and I feel good. I, I know I, I'm getting treated. Can you get that? I'll get it. Oh. Hello? Yep, this is her. Hi, I have the president on the line to speak with you. I, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second, I'm with the president. Thank you. President Obama. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, Gail? Hello? How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you. This is an honor. I want to thank you so much because if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Well, and this is that's from the bottom of my heart. Well, the, the uh, look, it, it, it means so much. I, I, if you had had trouble buying health insurance uh, before uh, the the pre-existing condition uh, fund got set up. Is that right? Right. I, I couldn't. There was no way I could. Um, I was denied. We, we didn't know this at the time, but I think it turned out that you were the first person in the state uh, to sign up uh, for this fund, and so you're like the poster child. For <laughs> Uh, why, why, uh, why this is so necessary and, mm -hmm. and why we're so proud of uh, the reforms that we initiated. Uh, you know, it's still a battle uh, that you're fighting, uh, but now you've got some allies on your side and, uh, and you don't have to spend all your time worrying about uh, paying the bills. You're right. Yes, thank you so much. Michelle and I uh, are thinking of you. And I really appreciate you being willing to tell your story because uh, you know, I think... I think what happened to you and your family can happen to anybody. And, and that's, you know, sort of one of the main messages that we want to deliver to people. Yes, exactly. You're right. All right. Well, Gail, it was great to talk to you. Oh, you uh, too. And, and I'm, I I'm so honored. Wait till I go back to work. They're all going to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell everybody I said hi. I will. Thank you so much. There was the president. <laughs> that was so cool. There are people out there that don't have health care that need it. And the, the, all the time, you, you always think, am I still going to be here now? You know, but now, because I'm getting treatments, it's a little, I'm, I'm optimistic that I will be here. We've been fighting health care all our married life, actually. And uh, this year, things have gotten so much better. We don't have to choose between living in our house or selling it and buying medication. And that's, that's a wonderful feeling. We both are going to get healthier because of it. I know I'll be able to run around with my grandkids again because I'll be getting the health care I need. We thought, we have to keep going. It's a huge difference to our business and our, the ability of our business to survive. People's health can't be profit-driven. It needs to be based on health needs, not bottom-line needs. I had a heart attack, and I could not afford the insurance after I couldn't work, so my heart medication came from the grocery money. Everybody, this affects all of us in one way or another.